Okay, this is Dr. Duke Majin back again, and this time we're testing the effects of metronidazole or flagyl is the uh, common name, trade name. Metronidazole is an antibiotic. It's used to treat some parasitic infections and a lot of bacterial infections. Anyway, um, the dose here is 500 milligrams per liter. So this is five times the dose that was used uh, by most marine biologists when treating the uh, corals that have RTN. Specifically, Michael Sweet has it in his papers on antibiotic treatment of coral. And as you can see, the philaster are swimming around in 500 milligrams per liter of metronidazole with absolutely no effect on the um, RTN parasites philaster. You can see them swimming around, crawling around. Again, I performed this particular experiment eight months ago, looking to see what the effect would be of these antibiotics, paramomycin, metronidazole, um, and ampicillin, and gentamicin on these ciliated protozoan coral parasites that are responsible for coral RTN and STN with no effect of the antibiotics. And I performed the experiments over five days, changing the antibiotic solution every 12 hours to add fresh antibiotics, and there were absolutely no kills of the parasite. You can see them swimming around. What you're looking at at the bottom there is just some sand but you can see the parasites in the water column. Very healthy, very happy, and this is about 30 minutes into the treatment. I can tell you, folks, it looks just like this if you fast forward three days later. These antibiotics have no effect. Netronidazole has no effect on the RTN parasites or STN parasites. The dose that I think a lot of reefers use is one milligram per liter. Remember, this is 500 milligrams, so 500 times the dose that Metroplex or other forms of metronidazole are used in the hobby. And again, these parasites are not affected one bit. 